After a deluded gunman assassinated President Kennedy. After a deluded gunman assassinated President Kennedy. After a deluded gunman, deluded gunman, deluded gunman. Notice the big grin, the shoulder shrug, and an audible exhale. Gunman. He is laughing. And by the size of the grin, I'd say he can't help himself. Now why do you suppose a former president would be laughing about another president's assassin? Deluded gunman assassinated President Kennedy. If you think this is just a coincidence, then think some more. When does a sane person ever just break out a laugh and then tuck it back away again? After a deluded gunman assassinated President Kennedy, our nation turned to Gerald Ford and a select handful of others to make sense of that. How about during a funeral, on the topic of assassination, while he's giving the eulogy? So is he insane? Please, think. Why is Bush laughing about the Kennedy assassination? Why is Bush laughing about the Kennedy assassination? Why is Bush laughing about the Kennedy assassination? Long before he arrived in Washington, Gerald Ford's word was good. During the three decades of public service that followed his arrival in our nation's capital, time and again, he would step forward and keep his promise, even the dark clouds of political crisis gathered over America. After a deluded gunman, assassinated President Kennedy, our nation turned to Gerald Ford and a select handful of others to make sense of that madness. And the conspiracy theorists can say what they will, but the Warren Commission report will always have the final definitive say on this tragic matter. Uh, why? Because Jerry Ford put his name on it, and Jerry Ford's word was always good.